Hi, boys and girls. I am so excited to have all of you a part of my class and your, and your wonderful parents. We're all a part of the third grade team. It's going to be a great year. My name is Miss Katie. I'm excited to be your child's teacher. Uh, third grade is my favorite grade that I've ever had. I have a bachelor's degree in elementary education from Nichols. It's my 13th year of teaching and my 8th year at HCS. And this is my wonderful husband right here. His name's Brett and we are fishing in this picture. Some of the things I like to do I love LSU. Go Tigers. I am a big fan of baking. I like baking new recipes, cakes and pies and different things like that, cookies. I like to try out all kinds of different re recipes. I like traveling with my family. We like going to Tennessee or Florida. These are my two lovely babies, my two girls. They also come to HCS. I have Kara, she's five years old, and Bella, who's seven. My classroom is ready for you guys. The only thing that's missing is warm bodies in those chairs. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff. We do projects in class. And I'm just so excited to have you guys in those chairs. All right, daily life in our class. We're going to start coming into the room this year at 730. There's going to be something fun waiting for you at your desk. Whether it's Play-Doh or a fun activity sheet, your children are also allowed to bring a color book from home and they can color in it while waiting for the 8 o'clock start time. At 8 o'clock, we're going to start with announcements and pledges and prayer, and we always start our day with Bible at around 8, 10, 8, 15. We're going to be learning all morning, and there's going to be a bathroom break in the morning. Lunch will be approximately at 10.30. We're going to eat in our classroom, but kiddos are going to be allowed to talk to each other. We're also going to listen to some relaxing music or some worship music while we're eating. PE and library, you will have it this year. Library will be in the class, and Coach Nate is ready to get you guys stretched and ready with the blood pumping and flowing outside. That time's going to be TBA. They're still making sure everything's good with those times. Recess is at the same time as last year, 110 to 130, and dismissal is at 250. For bus riders, it's usually 245. Okay, class rules. We're going to make sure we're following all the school rules and expectations, first of all, um, as far as dress code and what to bring to school and things like that. Okay. In my class, you have to speak at the right time. Sometimes we might be speaking all together and it's not going to be silent and quiet, but just make sure you're speaking at the right time. Do your best in all areas, whether that is uh, in my classroom or with another teacher. Treat others and property respectfully and stay in your own assigned area. It might not necessarily be a seat, but whatever area you're supposed to be in, that's where I expect you to be. Okay, some of the supplies that you're going to have for my class. Um, you're going to have a green folder. The green folder is going to contain homework, parent notes, study materials, your conduct. Parents, you can also send home, uh, send to school excuses in this folder. This is going to be very important. Conduct is going to be sent daily. Your blue folder is going to contain all of the class activities that we do during a school day. Uh, parents, you are can take this these materials out of the folder each day or weekly. If something is needing to be studied, it will be placed in the green folder. They will also be responsible for a pencil pouch, which will contain markers, crayons, and a dry erase marker. Students are allowed to bring personal supplies, like if they have a favorite kind of ink pen or a marker or things like that, but it needs to be able to fit inside that pencil pouch. They should not be bringing like an extra huge pencil pouch besides it because the desk space is limited. All right, some more procedures. Students are going to come in. They're going to get started with their fun class activity. I do have hand signals that I'm going to teach the children. This is an accident-free zone. If students have to use the restroom, they'll be taught uh, what signal they have to use, but they are also going to be given a bathroom break in the morning and in the afternoon 
They can go at recess and they can go during PE times. Okay. Water bottles are allowed this year. I'm not sure if they're going to be allowed to go to the water fountain. I would like the water bottle to be a clear container so that I can see what's in there. So that if we have any spills, clear liquids are a lot more forgivable than, say, like a red Kool-Aid or something like that. Lunch will be in the class, and pre-ordered lunch will be delivered to the class. Students can also bring their personal snacks. They will not be s selling concessions this year, but they can bring their personal snacks in from home. All right, being clean and safe. Because we're in different uh, a different situation this year, we're going to make sure the students are safe as possible. Students are going to be washing their hands frequently during the day. They have to wash their hands before they eat lunch and before and after PE and recess. Students must eat their own personal lunch or snack. Sharing food will share germs. Third grade and up are required to wear a cloth type mask. Please refer to uh, opening of school guidelines for the um, criteria on those masks. Ms. Katie's homework policy. It's not graded in my class. It is, however, checked for completion. Students are given time in the morning to complete it. If you did not, if you were not able to complete it the night before, they do have some time allotted to them in the morning. If not completed by recess, which is in the afternoon at 110, students will have five minutes of recess to complete the rest of the assignment. I give homework newsletters and homework on Mondays and the type of homework that they're going to have is reading is going to be 20 minutes a day. That's very important. They gain so much, uh, so many more new vocabulary words. They get over a million new vocabulary words, and students that read 20 minutes a day score within the 90th percentile on standardized tests. So it's really, really important. And then spelling is going to be a tic-tac-toe activity. More information is going to come home about that. Math is my main concern when it comes down to homework. Uh, if I give a math assignment, this will be the thing that is checked. Uh, no homework is given on test days. Wednesday night homework is just to review, review the test folder and get it signed. So no actual homework on Wednesdays. Frequently asked questions. How many tests are given during a nine weeks? There are six per nine weeks in phase two. Phase one would only be three tests. Now that would be different for different, so the six tests would might be in different forms. For example, a math would be three quizzes and three major tests, which would be a total of six. Um, science and social studies is five major and one project grade. And then reading is six major tests and they have a fluency and an AR grade each nine weeks. And I will give you a paper copy of my test policy. All right, so in reading, they are going to take skills tests and they're going to take sight and scene tests. So a lot of times parents will ask, what is a sight and scene? This is just a test that checks for comprehension. They read a story, they answer the questions, and a sight and scene might have two, three, sometimes even four um, different types of stories, and they just answer questions. It's not something that they have to study for. All right, another question that I usually get is what is AR? It's a program that students are able to read a book and they take a short quiz on it. The quizzes are five to 10 questions and it's on the computer and it builds points during the nine weeks. They earn points for each book that they take a quiz on. I will send home more information about AR also. Okay, how can you contact me? My main objective is to help your child be as successful as they can be and prepare them for fourth grade. I am here for you. I am on, we're all a part of a, a third grade team. So feel free to text me. Here is my personal cell phone number. You can also email myself. And then I will also be communicating via GroupMe. Um, I will be adding new parents to the GroupMe app as soon as, app as soon as I can get your contact info. Okay, and I just wanted to offer some encouragement about this year. I know it's been uh, quite an experience that we have all had since March 13th, but this year is going to be great. Um, we're going to get through it together as a team. 
God has the reins. He's going to be leading us uh, towards success. Open communication is going to be the key to that success, uh, regardless of COVID. Always need to be open with our communication. You can text me, call me, email, all that is all wonderful. If you need anything, do not hesitate to ask. And I put a little scripture to uh, kind of uplift us all. It says, so then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And he reassured them and spoke kindly to them. Genesis 50, 21. All right, guys. I look forward to seeing each and every one of you and speaking with all of you. And we're going to have a great year. All right. Awesome.